I'm Mark Pollard. I'm a criminal defense attorney licensed to practice in the state of New York. What are the steps in a criminal trial? First, you have to know that everyone has a right for the DA to prove that they're guilty of an offense beyond a reasonable doubt. And one way of doing that is through a jury trial. What are the steps of a jury trial? Well, first, the DA is required by law to give an opening statement. An opening statement basically is where the jury will give the jury, uh, the DA will give the jury a preview of the case that they intend to prove against you. You have the right for your lawyer to give an opening statement as well. Okay. After that, the DA will present their case, and they would do that by calling witnesses against you and begin a questioning that we call direct examination. After the DA gives their questioning or direct examination to the DA's witnesses, be it eyewitnesses, alleged victims, or the police, your lawyer has the right to effectively cross-examine uh, the witness to be able to prove that the witness is either lying or is mistaken. After all of the DA's witnesses have testified, then you have the right for your lawyer to put you on the stand or to put witnesses um, um, for the jury to hear that's going to testify on your behalf. After all of the direct examinations and cross-examinations are done, then there is what we call closing arguments or closing statements, otherwise known as summations. That is where the DA would try to argue to the jury that they have proven beyond a reasonable doubt that the arrested person, the defendant, is guilty. And where your lawyer was, would argue to the jury that the DA has failed to prove that my client is guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. After that, the jury would uh, deliberate and there would be a verdict. Hopefully the verdict would be not guilty and in your favor. I'm Mark Pollard. Thank you for listening to this video. It's a very important that you know your rights today so you can keep your freedom tomorrow. Thank you.